The hydrocephalus in children is characterized by the accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid (CSF) within the brain's vesicle, leading to increased intracranial pressure. The clinical feature of hydrocephalus can vary depending on the child's age and the severity of the condition. The key signs and symptoms include the increased head size and abnormally rapid increase in head circumference, especially noticeable in infants. The bulging fontanel, the soft spot on the top of the baby's head, may appear bulging and tense when the baby is upright and calm. The sun setting sign, a characteristic downward deviation of the eyes when the upper sclera is visible above the iris, and this sign occurs due to increased intracranial pressure pushing the eyes downward. And the prominent skull vein that might be visible and prominent, the seizure episode of seizure can occur due to increased pressure and irritation of the brain tissue. There can be nausea and vomiting, which is severe in morning. There can be irritable and poor feeding in the infant, unusually fussy cry, persistent and poor feeding habit, the developmental delays like sit, uh, the fine and gross motor delay, the altered muscle tone, a headache. There might be older children can complain headache. There can, there can be poor in coordination and balance and uh, cognitive and behavioral changes can be there. And finally, the there can be papillary edema, the swelling of optic disc visible upon the ophthalmoscopic examination indicative of increase in ICP. And so early recognition and diagnosis are cr critical for the management and treatment of hydrocephalus in children to prevent long-term neurological damage. Thank you.